Vince Copeland has an impressive resume. In fact, enough accolades that he's actually in the Michigan Harness Racing Hall of Fame. The Massachusetts native actually began his career in the Midwest. And after racing at several different tracks around the country, Copeland moved to Delaware in 2008 and has become a popular horseman on our Delmarva circuit. We caught up with Vince, or as many call him, Vinny, for this edition of Post Times Q&A. How did you get into harness racing? Through my dad and grandfather. You know, it was a family business. That's how we grew up. So that's how I got started in it. They drove and trained, both of them. You know, dad had been in it since he was a kid. And I just followed in his footsteps, you know. So uh, my grandfather, he got it in it later in life. He started out with uh, draft horses and then went to harness horses. If you could get in a time machine, where would you go? You know, I thought about that one. There were so many places. You know, I think I'd rather go, like, to the Old West, you know what I mean, when everything was just starting up and just see how that was. And, and uh, I think that would be pretty neat. I'm sure a lot of people would want to do that. I don't think I want to go to, I don't want to go to the future, so. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever gotten about driving and training horses? Uh, it was from my dad. Um, both, you know, it was be safe, handle yourself, try to handle yourself with class, um, respect the horse. And with training, it was the same dad. Um, you know, patience, put a good foundation in him. Horse will tell you when he's ready to go. Um, just stuff like that. What's the last movie you saw? And what's the review? You know, I have, I, the last movie I saw in the movie theater was Top Gun, the latest one. It was good, but that's how long it's been since I've seen a movie at the movie theater. And I, I can't remember the last movie I watched because so far none of them been any good. So I just kind of given up on them. If you weren't training or driving horses, what do you think you'd be doing? I don't know. I might have went into something with uh, being a pilot. I always like to fly. You know, I mess around with it a little bit. You know, just guys let me fly the plane a couple times when we flew somewhere to drive horses. I think it's something like that. I think I'd have gone that way. Or maybe the Air Force, you know. I don't know. Or it could have been something with horses in a different category, but I, probably that. Who is the best racehorse you've ever seen in person? I'm going to say Mac Lobel. I thought he was the best at the time. I think I wish I would have seen some beat somewhere um, when he was racing. I didn't see him in person, but Mac Lobel probably I think was the best racehorse I saw in person. Tell me something about yourself that people may not know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a pretty open book, so I think if they don't know it by now, it might be the best thing they don't know it. So. Other than that, I really don't know. I don't really have anything that I don't think people would know. Other than harness racing, what's your favorite sport and your favorite team? Football is my favorite sport, and I've been a lifelong New England Patriot fan. So, um, and that's and I like hockey too and golf. Other than that, those are those are the three that I'll watch. What's your pet peeve? I got a lot of them. <laughs> One of my pet peeves is people that drive in the left lane and will not get out of the left lane and just sit there and back traffic up. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. What's the smartest thing you've ever done in life? Maybe leaving Jersey and going to Michigan and starting my career up, having my kids, raising my kids. Um, you know, I think that uh, both of my girls have are really nice girls. So I would say probably the kids, raising the kids out there, I think that that was my smartest thing. Other than winning, obviously, <laughs> what's your favorite part about harness racing? You know, I think it's all the people I've met and the experiences, the places I've gone and seen, you know, different people. I, but I really think it's the people. You know, I, I mean, I've met a lot of people that 
normally, you know, just in a regular business, you wouldn't get the meat, you know, and I've been to a lot of places, so I think that's it right there. That maybe when you get a two-year-old to the races, you know, it's the joy of getting them there. That's a big thing. What's your best life advice? Treat people the way you would like to be treated. You know, my dad always told me that, be respectful of other people. Um, you know, maybe another one is uh, life's not perfect. You're going to make mistakes. You know, own up to them. Try to correct them and just move on. And uh, probably just down deep, try to be a good person.